Can you believe it? And apparently he was like big on like weightlifting back then. Yeah, he was, was like a bodybuilder. Yeah. bodybuilder. And then he starts doing jujitsu and fell in love with it. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So you go to him for your jujitsu and Henzo as well, right? You go to Henzo's? Do you yes, know? I go to uh, Henzo. That's where you, you travel teach. a lot of gyms. Yeah, but I travel. It's a good thing because I have places that no matter. Like I come to LA often for business stuff. But when I come to LA, I have the place where I can train in LA. You know, I'm very right. happy. I have place where I can train in New York. I go to New York a lot. And, and uh, Montreal, of course, uh, France, uh, Paris, France, you know, and, and it's, it's important, you know. So I have to, everywhere I go, I have like a second home where I'm, I can go train there and get better. That was hilarious when you brought that uh, French dude with you on the <laughs> Ultimate Fighter and he showed up hammered. What is his name again? Jean-Charles Jean, Jean Karboski. Yeah, he's, he's very, Karboski's very good Muay Thai guy. Very famous Muay Thai uh, kickboxer. And he would be partying all night uh, and show up to the gym with one of them club cups, a plastic cup, <laughs> and there was fucking alcohol in it. Like He's out was... of his mind. <laughs> he shows up. He was drunk and high from the party. Like, he had not <laughs> slept for more than 36 hours, you know, for that his flight to Paris. Then I thought I made the training when he arrived. I, I made on purpose. I, I made I organized the training for him to come teach the afternoon class, the late afternoon, not the morning class, because I, I was thinking, oh, he's going to sleep. No, he arrived from Paris the night before, went out all night, went in an after party, went in an after, after party, and arrived straight to training. Didn't even go to his hotel room wow. and, and train and kick everyone's ass in Muay Thai. <laughs> Everybody was like, what the hell is this? And, 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 and even when, they, when he left, because he stayed for like a week, when he left, the producer of the, of the Ultimate Fighter came to see me. George, 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 we need to get this guy. We need to keep this guy here. We need to... it, was, it was good TV, you know? I was like, no, no, he's leaving. He has to go back. It was making me look bad sometimes, you know? <laughs> Man, it was like, it was like giving... I know. Like, and he's not an imposing-looking guy, which no, is amazing. No. When you look at him, he's not like a scary-looking... But he doesn't know anything about him. Man. That's the thing. He has no idea who was Chuck Liddell, who was Anderson. He had no idea. He came mm. in the room and he saw those pictures. He was like, who's these guys are? You know, like, he knows all those like uh, famous Muay Thai guy, but MMA right. doesn't know anything about it. Yeah, he fights ties. Like he's yes. he fights in Lumpini Stadium and yeah, he fought Buakau, the guy. Yeah. He, he slide he, he cut Buakau with a spinning elbow in the head. You know, like he lost that fight, but he took that fight on a short notice, like like a few days notice, and he was underweight. 